Tonight we're going 360 to show how the impact of today's decision stretches far beyond the diamond. Not only will you hear from the team, but fans and local businesses. So we start our 360 coverage with fans, some of whom were just surprised by today's news. Our reporter Dan Cohen live outside the K with that story. Dan. Kevin, it was a bittersweet sentiment in the pregame parking lots here at the K following the dismissal of Dayton Moore as the Royals start a new chapter. They're hoping to begin a new one by filling empty seats and empty parking spaces that were once filled to see championship baseball. There you go, fired up. The parking lots at the K felt the same. Yeah. Tailgaters arriving early for another night of Royals baseball. But the winds of change blew in with the dismissal of Dayton Moore. Didn't really see that one coming. Fans took in the news hours before first pitch. A major change to the team's front office with just a handful of games left in the season. We have a new ownership group and so he's not as nostalgic as some of us and so I can understand it. Nostalgia, they say, for an unforgettable run of winning baseball in Kansas City. Those of us that are here in Kansas City and grew up watching them and um, part of the old 1985 crew and then back in 2015, it's it's just been great and I don't think those memories will go away for a long, long time. 14-15 season, uh, the Royals, <laughs> speaking of a community, they brought the community back together. I mean, there wasn't anywhere you couldn't go. If you had a Royals shirt on, you got a smile, everybody got a high five. The memories aren't a decade old, but Royals fans know who helped make them happen. Dayton Moore got us here, got us to the championship, got us to back-to-back -back years. I'm very grateful. I mean, it, it brought us a lot of joy. Joy has been in short supply of late, with the Royals headed to their sixth straight season below 500. But with a core of young talent, there's optimism for the future in Kansas City. Hopefully in the near future, uh, we can see that again, because that'd be great. After tonight, the Royals have four more home games for their fans to see them before an important offseason begins for the franchise. Reporting live at the K tonight, Dan Cohen, KSHB 41 News.